so you're wondering if you should use the big iron. Well, let me just tell you this. This gun fucking slaps. I think I heard one more. Let me go check downstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's outside. Someone just shot him, though. Oh. That could be too Holy shit, is that you? Now, you might have noticed that even my partner was a little startled by that first shot. I'm telling you, this gun kicks like a mule. Now, I wouldn't hold it against you if you thought I was a bandit of some kind. I do have the appearance of one after all. I can't tell you whether I'm a good guy or a bad one. But when I see people trying to rob an old mom and pop store, well, that just don't sit right with me. Oh, someone's running. The big iron on his hip. Right. <laughs> There's another guy. Bum bum black. Bandy, 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 bandy. Yeah. Did you kill this calf? No, the PMC got him on the left side. Okay. Let's see if it's a scav. Don't think it is. People running. They got flashlights. I think it's multiple teams. I got one. Oh, he's nading. Unfortunately, this is the part where me and my partner had to go our separate ways, but there was still more to do. I used to work at this old factory when I was younger, and I recently discovered that all the workers had been ran out or gunned down by one of the local gangs. The leader was a real mean son of a bitch. Called himself Tagilla. So I feel like I should talk more about this gun that's been treating me so well these past couple years. As for modifications, there are none. She's perfect the way she is. I suppose if you really wanted to, you could put a sight on it, but why would you want to put a sight on perfection? You could also put one of them fancy flashlights or lasers, but I was never afraid of the dark. Now as for the ammo type, you got three choices. Two of them ain't worth a damn, unless you're shooting at birds or geese. The only ammo that this girl likes is PS-12B. Has the potential to one-shot any bandit out there, with the exception of a few. If they were lucky enough to find a high level armor, they might survive a shot, but like I said, this thing still kicks. Looks like there's someone camping in this area.
Well, that works. I don't think that guy's gonna move, so uh, let's go take a peek at what this guy had. EPSH. Upgrade our shoddy real quick. Looks like all the PMCs are dead. First raid proved to be a success. Cleared out some of the baddies in factory, but no sign of Tagila. That was until the second raid. Why are there three scabs over there? <laughs> what the hell? I love this gun so much. I'm dead. Oh, get the fuck up! I, I just want my loot! Please tell me you got ammo in this thing. <laughs> you son of a bitch. So it looks like the rumors were true. That son of a bitch really was there. Oh shit! I'm not your enemy! I think the guy that I shot first killed the guy that started shooting at me. Circle of life. I wonder if he ran to the extract or if he's still here somewhere. I clap one of them. It's a team of two, though. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh. 
нет никого. It's like everyone got the memo, and we're all rocking pistols. Except I have the biggest one. What do we got here? I've been noticing a uh, recurring theme while playing Tarkov, and that's that uh, a lot of people don't look up. Sorry, little Timmy. I hear an M4 over here. I'm using the headset that I picked up off that one guy last round, and uh, it's kind of... I'm not enjoying it. I just realized, is that a pumpkin over there? I think I got him. Yep. There's the M4. I'm gonna go grab that pumpkin because I really want it. If I die, oh well. I really want it though. Got ourselves a nice kill. And a pumpkin. Never bring a shotgun to a hand cannon fight. 52. Flechetti. You know what the crazy part about Flechetti is? Flechetti is like the best shotgun ammo because it just destroys all armor. But the downside is that I think it's only 25 damage per trap or pellet, whatever it is. Uh, so when you hit me in the head, it wasn't enough to kill me. Any other buckshot would have killed me, so unfortunate. He was looking to take down someone who was wearing some pretty heavy armor, and instead he ran into the uh, guy who's wearing a cowboy hat. What the f- Oh shit! We just killed Tequila. Bro, he ate a nade. Tequila ran right into that fucking nade. And so the mission was done. That son of a bitch was finally dead. Can't bring back the people that we lost, but maybe the ones that are still around can rest easy, knowing that the big baddie is gone. As for what's next, well, that's for you to decide. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe even hit that subscribe button so I know to make more of these. 
By the way, the western voice wasn't planned whatsoever, but uh, once I started editing the clips, it just kind of happened. <laughs> Could also put one of them fancy flashlights or lasers, but I was never afraid of the dark. <laughs> Dude, this is so cheesy.